CADSOFT software, you can use the Import PDF file to import the contents of any PDF file into your work. If you bring in a PDF file to Model View, then you can use it to trace over it to build a model. If you bring in a PDF to the worksheet area, it's an excellent way to add details to your working drawings. Select File, Import, Import PDF in the Model View, or Insert Import PDF File in the Worksheet View. In the Open dialog, locate and select the PDF file that you want to import, and then click Open. The PDF file is displayed in the Import PDF dialog. You can zoom and pan in the PDF preview pane using the zoom pan controls below the pane. Note that changing the zoom level inside the preview pane has no effect on the image when it is imported. Before importing the PDF, you will need to define the size or scale of the imported image. If you are importing a floor plan and you know the scale at which it was drawn originally, you can enter that value in the scale edit box. For example, if the plan was drawn at a quarter inch equals one foot, that's a 1 to 48 scale. You would enter 48 in the scale X or scale Y edit box. There are separate X and Y horizontal and vertical scale settings. By default, whatever you enter in one edit box will automatically be, be displayed in the other edit box, maintaining the same scale in both directions. If you want the X scale to be different than the Y scale, you need to unclick the lock icon beside the scale X and scale Y edit boxes. With the lock unlocked, you can enter a different scale in each box. Another way of specifying the scale is to draw a reference line along an existing object in the PDF image and specify the length of that object in real-world units. To do this, click the Pick Scale button next to the scale X or scale Y at a box. Then pick two points along the object in the PDF image to define a reference line. If the X scale and Y scale will differ, you should pick points along a horizontal object for the X scale and pick points along a vertical object for the Y scale. Then in the Scale by Reference dialog box, enter the length of the reference line and click OK. To specify the angle of the imported image, enter a value in the Angle edit box, or click the Pick Angle button next to the Angle edit box and pick two points along an object in the PDF image to define the angle. If you're picking points to define the angle, the Angle by Reference dialog appears and reports the angle that you defined. You can edit the angle here if you want. If you want to import only a portion of the image, click the Set button next to the Crop box item. Then click two points diagonally in the PDF window to define a box around the portion that you want to import. A blue box is displayed around the selected portion. To dim the imported image, slide the dimming slider to the desired dim level. The higher the percentage, the more dim the image will be. This is ideal if you're bringing in a PDF to trace. If you want the import dialog to appear again after you insert the PDF so that you can insert another PDF, enable the multiple insert checkbox. To import the image into the current view, click Insert. The image is attached to your cursor. Position the image where you want it, then click Insert. It's in and you can use it to trace over top in your model view or as an excellent detail on your working drawings. I hope that makes your CAD soft work one step easier.